tribute to having got a clue when I was a boy what I was going to be. One day I want to be a, a dancer, one day I want to be a doctor, one day I want to be like children. I mean, I don't have a fixed idea. My mother, in 19 whatever, 50s, she wanted to have dresses. Um, we couldn't get materials. So you have to have things, a friend from Madrid or somebody from Paris send uh, chiffons and things. So there was nothing after the war, was nothing there. So shoes, forget it, the most horrific, you know, espadrilles or trash like this. Um, and she invented, she made with the men who, ¿cómo se llamaba? Um, Don Cristino, the, the shoemaker of the city. She made herself, learned how to make shoes. So I saw it, but I never sort of, pay attention to it, it was fun, fantastic. And my mother had the most wonderful magazines coming from Argentina at the time, but with American magazines called Harper's Bazaar and things like that. But every month or three months, because it was the war times and they came late on boats from Argentina. For me, it was like, ah, every month was a joy to have that. And later on was Jour de France and Elle and French Vogue and things like that. But at the time, it was Harper's Bazaar. 1971. It was the year that we decided to go try in America because Europe was kind of small for us. I can imagine how pretentious. And then we did say, well, in America we have connections, we have that. So I went to see Mrs. Rilla, Mrs. Rilla and almost faint when she saw this vision. I was wearing a gingham suit. Mrs. Rilla couldn't believe her eyes, possibly. Uh, I couldn't believe mine either. I was in a state of catatonia because she, is, she was too impressive for me. She was immediately looking, blah, 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 blah. she didn't waste time at all. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, they're very interesting to think. Oh, the hats are funny. This is funny. The dress is a little bit droopy. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, but the shoes. Blah, 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 blah. And then she said to me, young man, concentrate and do shoes. I don't do fashion, in fact. I never did fashion like fashion, you know. Boom. No. I want to be every woman to choose whatever they want to choose. And in England, we have many, many girls that they have an incredible, uh, they don't care about the internet they, or papers, they, they can style a magazine or this or this and this, they don't care about that. They know what they want and they get it and some people just buy it because they know what they want. You're not gonna tell them, oh, but this is what um, the people in that film they're wearing. Mm -mm. I have a, a, a cult of women who, call it shy. somebody said it to me in the paper, cult, do you have a maybe a cult? Maybe, what do you mean maybe? It's there, it's been there for 40 years, this cult of women. But, you know, we have to, or you grow or you dr drop dry. And I still have something to say to people, I think. I don't know. If they don't kick me out before I drop.